Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. The tarot card for today is the Five of Cups from the Urban Tarot by artist Robin Scott. <sighs> Here we are. It's the end of November, and between yesterday's card and today's, it's like it pretty much sums up the month, doesn't it? I mean, it's like, you know, it says disappointment. I think a bigger, grander word needs to be used to describe how everyone's November was going. It just seemed to start way back when, hmm, what, September, when Mercury went retrograde in Libra, which was a very, very mental uh, Mercury retrograde for pretty much everyone. And then it just kind of kept on going where you thought you'd get a break when we moved into November and Mercury finally left shadow on the second. So, you know, it, it's just, ugh. yeah, disappointment, like I said, just doesn't sum it up. We moved into an eclipse season on November the 4th, and it's going strong until December 19th. We still have a biggie coming up at the end of this week on Saturday, December the 4th. There will be a total solar eclipse in Sagittarius. So here's the thing, all right. You can't do anything about what happened in November and before. It's all water under the bridge, okay? It, the best you can do is to, you know, move forward with what you have left, I think would be a good word, all right? And, you know, make it work for you. Focus your um, yeah, your, yourself on the future and what there is. This is not the time for a pity party, most definitely. We actually have, you know, yesterday, today, we have some very, very positive, you know, cosmic influences going on. And with our card, which is one for focusing not on what has been lost, but on what remains that you, you know, have and you should cherish we have today going on a sextile between mercury and saturn and you know that's a good thing okay a lot of times when things are difficult and saturn tests us you know we just you know tend to throw that pity party that the five of cups can represent but this sextile is here to help you to you know face the tough things and do whatever you need to do, whether it be obligations, deadlines. You know, I think that you've been feeling this very strongly. We also have a sextile between Venus and Neptune. And interestingly enough, this time around, Venus is in shadow preparing to retrograde from December 19th through January 29th. And Neptune is stationing direct. It's been at that stationing degree for a while now and that is happening tomorrow december the first so it, it's just so amplified okay um i think that if you are feeling any kind of um, you know sadness disappointment whatever that this card is reflecting that the best thing that you can do for yourself is a little self-care you know something that maybe makes your appearance feel better but don't do it in an over-the-top fashion where you get carried away like don't go and spend a fortune on things that you can't afford or you know uh, you know items that you'll regret buying later because the venus influence while it wants you to feel good by looking good okay it also doesn't want you to take on things like you know let me go get plastic surgery let me just put this out here right here and now for those who are listening because i get a lot of questions about this when should i go get a procedure done not while venus is in any way going to be retrograde okay so if you didn't get it done before it went into shadow you should really hold off a little while maybe till march 
things will be much more favorable when there are no retrograde planets. So there's a great deal here to consider, okay? You know, been a tough month. How do you bolster your spirits? How do you do things that give you that positive spin, that positive focus? I think that's something different for everyone. But the best thing that you can do is not to beat yourself up over anything that did happen. Because the fact remains, you cannot change whatever happened. So in that respect, just go with what you've got okay don't push and use your creative you know abilities your intuition they are if you want to tap into them they're you know really at their peak right now so i advise using them and i think that you'll find that you can you know do some things that will work for you very well so as we begin to move into december which will be a much better month. And I do have my love and finance, if you haven't listened to it yet, it is on Podbean, it is on YouTube, it is on Patreon. Go have a listen. It will help you to understand what comes next. I wanna thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.